Hey everyone, I am back with a quick short little video of this little pink cat I made for Valentine's Day. So obviously I meant to put this out before Valentine's Day and I didn't. Um, but it's here now and I finally got around to doing this voiceover. I'm a little excited because my video editing program can finally do a voiceover in the program. So that's, we're going to test that out with this video, but, uh, I'm happy to share this little pattern that I've made. Um, and then I'm actually going to be selling in my Etsy shop, um, hopefully as soon as possible. I'm working on, um, making the pattern nice and printable and, uh, typing up the instructions. And I also want to, um, make a step-by-step -step video on how to put together the pattern. Um, I've made a couple changes here from what you're seeing in this video for the pattern versus what I will be selling. Like I've decided to make the head and body um, an attached a, a single piece so that you don't have to attach them later after you've stitched them together. Um, but yeah, here's the little cat so far. And so there's actually two versions to this pattern. Um, I call it, the pattern's name is a Adriana, because I name my patterns names. I name my monsters and my patterns girl names for some reason. But um, <laughs> the uh, pattern is this little cat that you're going to see, and it is also um, an elf. It'll have a little elf ear pattern piece so you can make either a little cat or a little elf um and then there's tail pieces obviously for the cat part for this little cat i uh decided to embroider a face um none of like the pattern is just gonna be be blank like i'm not gonna include um any pieces for the face it's entirely for uh, you to decide how you want to do the face if you want to embroider a face or cut some felt pieces to stitch on for a face it's it's meant to be sort of a, a blank so that you can create and customize your own doll so here is I am attaching the body to the head and it's a little I wanted this pattern to be a good beginner pattern for anyone who is curious and wants to try out making a little felt doll, um, and I felt that attaching the, the head to the body um, was a little more of an intermediate uh, step, so I decided to attach those two pieces so that when you stitch it together you don't even have to worry about that. And then everything else is, is pretty straightforward and easy. And here's a little bow tie that I was making. I think I decided, yeah, I changed it. Uh, I wanted to make it a collar with the uh, little bow tie instead. So hopefully this will be one of uh, multiple patterns that I will be putting up for sale on my Etsy. Um, and if you, if you do end up getting the pattern, um, and please, please, uh, show me what you make. You can, uh, tag me on Instagram or Twitter. Uh, if you put pictures anywhere, I would love to see it. Yeah, so here I'm attaching, uh, the limbs and I am using, uh, buttons so I can make button joints so that way the limbs can actually, uh, move and kind of hold their pose a little bit. Um, it's very, very basic articulation, but um, I really like doing it. Um, I definitely want to make more felt dolls in the future with um, the button joints. And there's this like neck joint that I've seen that I need to like learn how to do because that would be very cool. Um, there's these more elaborate dolls that I want to make in the future. But for now, <laughs> I need to finish other projects first before I take on more projects. Does anyone else have a problem? Like, goddamn. I need some discipline. I'm really hoping that this video came out okay. As I'm watching, like, the edit to record this voiceover, it keeps, like, flashing green, and I'm worried if it's just, like, 
Oh, I hope it didn't, like, the video didn't get corrupted. Because it's pulling from the source material, so if it's there, I'm screwed. <laughs> but anyway, this was just kind of a, a really quick um, little video to just kind of give you a quick feature of the little pattern that I've made. Um, the tutorial uh, instruction video that I will release with the pattern coming up pretty soon will be uh, much easier to view and step by step and I will also t teach um, the uh, really simple like what I think it's called a whip stitch that I used uh, around the pieces um, yeah and how to attach the limbs yeah I'll show I'll go into um, as much as I can explain in that video but please stay tuned i'm looking forward to sharing that pattern um and many more in the future i've got a couple that i'm already kind of putting together And there he is, pretty much done. Um, I'm really happy with this little cute cat. I, I would have maybe embroidered the face a little differently. I think the nose is too low. That's really my only thing with this. But um, I really like these little cats, and I hope you guys like them too. Thank you for watching. Um, I have more stuff soon. I promise I will try to post more consistently. Um, and yeah, just stick around. I hope you guys are all doing well. Please take care of each other. Um, please stay warm. Please just take care. I hope you're all doing well and I love you guys. Be safe. <laughs>